Hey guys, it's Rush. Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the channel. This video, I will be sharing some techniques that you may not have seen with Street Fighter 6 Ken. So some scenarios, some punishes that, yeah, you may not have seen or I feel maybe underutilized at the moment. Just a bit of background. So I played Street Fighter 5 Ken throughout Street Fighter 5. It was my first fighting game that I knuckled down and learned the game mechanics. and I learned a character to a very high level. Personally, I don't think I was good at Street Fighter 5. I don't think I was good. I don't think I've ever been amazing at fighting games, but I do think what helped me be really good at Street Fighter 5, why I got, you know, somewhat of a following was because of the way I used Ken. So I had situational tech and, you know, I had optimal punishes. I used punishes that people didn't use at all. I think that stood out. People would see that and be like, oh, you know, Rush does X, Y, and Z. So this is kind of like the beginning of that process with Street Fighter 6 Ken. It's only a few tips, but it's the way my mind works based on the scenarios I've seen and found. Thought, you know what? This is really good. I'm going to add this to my game and I want to share it with you. So that's the concept of this video to give you some background in regards to the idea. So let's get into it. So the first technique I'm going to show you is how to punish people jumping back in the corner. People will jump back in the corner because of the threat of drive impact. Not only that, also because if you whiff a button when you're pressure, pressuring somebody in the corner and they jump back, the fact that buttons linger quite a lot in this game compared to previous games and because of the punish counter uh, mechanic or you know situation, if you miss a button in the corner and they jump back, they're going to land a button into punish counter to full combo. So it is very scary uh, if people are jumping back. But if you have somebody jumping back in the corner and you sort of scout it, look for it, you can punish it in this game quite well. Heavy Punch DP does work with Ken, but it's not... Uh, how, to, how to explain? It's not as good as it once was. So in Street Fighter V, Heavy Punch DP was good. And you could cancel that into level, well, his, his CA in 3.5. You could get juggles off it as well, which is really nice. But in this game, you don't get any of that nonsense. So you can use this technique. Now, I need to flesh it out myself, but it is really good from what I've seen. But people are jumping back in the corner. EX Jimrai into heavy kick follow up. It seems pretty consistent to do this as a combo as well. So there, I did EX Jinrai into Heavy Kick follow-up. There wasn't really much of a delay, it was pretty much follow-up straight away. And the juggle after that was Light Jinrai into Forward Heavy Kick again. And yeah, Heavy DP. I mean, why this is good against damage, really good damage. But look at how far, I can be, how far back I can be to catch them in the air. Actually mad. So the next technique is Ken's regular jump tattoo when it hits cross up. They've changed this since the beta. So when you used it before, the opponent used to get knocked to the other way. So they'd fall the same way as Ken. So they'd keep close proximity, but you'd have to do a cross cut DP to get a follow up. They've changed it now in the full release. It actually knocks the opponent back, which makes more sense based on how the hit is hitting. Follow ups here, you can get OD tattoo, you can get OD dragon lash, you can get heavy DP, you can get all supers. There's quite a few things you can do here, but you've got to be ready to see the, the obviously you've got to see it hit, then react to the hit to get the juggle. But yeah, you get a number of things here, quite a lot of stuff. So just be ready to confirm off that when you get the hit. So in this game, if you whiff a button, you miss, or you whiff a throw, if you're teching or delay teching, it's really bad because of punish counter. You get punish counter, that's your reward for hitting a move in its recovery frames. This is like de delay teching or teching and, and whenever the situation arises, uh, if you whiff a throw, it's bad, it's bad. You're going to take so much damage from whiffing a throw because of the punish counter mechanic. So if you get shimmied in this game, it's really bad. Yeah, it's very painful <laughs> receiving the shimmy. So um, a corner combo 
to use when you shimmy someone. Uh, if you don't know what a shimmy is, it's when you knock someone down and you walk out of range towards their throw to win. So if you do this technique and you punish their throw, a good punish is stand heavy punch into heavy Jinrai. Somebody mentioned this in the comment section on my Jinrai kicks video. This combo only works on punish counter, but it's really good because you can go into light follow up and then loop that into other Jinrai combos. Why this is getting even better is because of the punish counter. Punish counter, you only get sand heavy punch in the heavy gym right on punish counter. But this is a really good shimmy option. Punish the very damaging combo when you shimmy someone in the corner. So you can see there, without any meter spent, you get some really good damage. You can really hurt people when they throw tech, especially in the corner. And Ken does hit like a truck in this game. So if you know the optimal routes, yeah, you can punish people extremely hard in this game. So the final technique I'm going to show you in this video is a, a raw punish. Ken's level two super it doesn't have that much invincibility, but where it is really good is it's a six frame startup move and it has good range as well. So this move can be used as a raw punish for things on block. You saw Guile did stand heavy punch there. Guile stand heavy punch on block is minus six. So with reversal timing, that's true punish. Guile cannot block that. You've got to be careful because there are some moves that can be cancelled into specials. So the special cancels will probably beat level two. But moves that cannot be stopped or cancelled or special moves that are just minus on block. This is a really good punish option. So that's it guys. Four tips to level up your Street Fighter 6 Ken. Any questions, any queries, give me a shout as always. And I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.